Lauren and Jeff Bezos have been spotted together getting cozy on a yacht in Cannes, but this news is really rocking the love boat. The Amazon founder and the one-time extra co-host are reportedly engaged. Page Six is breaking the news. They're ready to take the next step after five years together. The report comes just six months after they gave their first joint interview to CNN. Do you plan to give away the majority of your wealth in your lifetime? Yeah, I do. In that interview, they made a huge announcement that Jeff expects to give away nearly all of his more than $100 billion fortune. The $500 million yacht they've been spotted on is just a drop in the bucket. This giant couple's news comes as Hollywood takes over the south of France with Leo DiCaprio stealing the show. <laughs> Leo's film Killers of the Flower Moon, co-starring Lily Gladstone and directed by Martin Scorsese, received a nine-minute standing ovation at its premiere. Children of the Middle Waters. The movie tells the real-life story of a Native American massacre in Oklahoma a century ago. It's a part of our culture, it's a part of our history, and it was a really, really a throwback to, you know, great epic films of the 1940s. Some are calling this Leo's best performance ever. De Niro also made some headlines by taking on one of his famous targets, comparing former President Trump to the character he plays in the film, the man who helped orchestrate the murders. How subtle. We see it today, of course, with, we all know who I'm gonna talk about, but I won't say the name. <laughs> because that guy is stupid. I mean, look with Trump. I had people, I had, and you said it, you said it. I hate to say it. Don't say it. it. You said it. <laughs> Damn. I hate to say it. <laughs> but we, we see what that is. It's like. And there are people who think that he could do a good job. Imagine that, how insane that is. That's all I'll say. After the premiere, Robert and girlfriend Tiffany Chen, the mother of their brand new baby girl, Gia, were seen holding hands at the Vanity Fair Prada party, getting a parent's night out. <laughs> Kate Blanchett, stunning in Louis Vuitton as she walked the red carpet. Naomi Campbell left little to the imagination in her red gown with matching red shoes. And Jennifer Lawrence got the memo, sporting a scarlet Christian Dior couture gown. Lovely, but with a surprise underneath. Yes, those are sandals, uh, perhaps by the French designer Philippe Philop. <laughs> Natalie Portman simply sparkled in Dior, a recreation of a 1949 gown. She and Julianne Moore premiered their new film, May, December. <laughs> Arena Sheikh flew solo, but never mind that. Who would have been looking at her date anyway with that all-leather number at the premiere of Firebrand? Gigi Hadid showed off her famous figure in a form-fitting custom Jean-Paul Gaultier fishtail gown. And Michelle Yeoh chose this green Balenciaga couture gown to walk the red carpet. Michelle was honored at the Cannes Women in Motion Awards, revealing she's been doing everything everywhere since her Oscar win just a few months ago. I haven't stopped working yet, so I think I need to finish up with uh, my the movie Wicked uh, and then be able to take some time out and then slowly let it all sink in. Variety caught this video of Michelle and Brie Larson busting a move inside. Rosie Huntington Whiteley made it date night with husband Jason Statham. Rebel Wilson and Ramona Agruma made it red carpet official. And Salma Hayek on a date night with husband Francois Henri Pignot. But she was singing Michelle's praises. She really, really deserves this. She's been an inspiration to many women and also to many minorities, including us. We've got a full Cannes fashion gallery up right now at extratv.com.